Everyone, it's Ginny. Um, I'm not sure if this camera angle is right again. Every time I switch it on, it moves slightly. I think I've got it right. So anyway, today I'm um, playing around with these little birds that Althea sent me. Um, because I'm in an ATC swap for this, this month and the a theme is birds. So I'm just going to work on an ATC now. And um, you can watch along. <laughs> so my plate that I always mix colours on, my palette, I'm going to start with some blue. <clears throat> oh, big splat. <laughs> I'm going to mix that with some white so I can get a different colour. A nice pale of blue. I hope you can hear me. I'm, I'll just wipe that. I spilt some. Um, it's difficult because I have to, you know, kind of shout a bit to be heard, which I don't really feel comfortable doing, but I tried talking at my normal level and listened back to it um, but yeah, you need the volume up quite high, so I think it's better if I just talk loudly. <laughs> right, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to use my brayer and um, just put some paint on there and bray it on to the ATC. I've done this before and it gave a really nice texture, you know, a background texture to the card. So I'm hoping it does that again. <laughs> yeah, I got this um, brayer last year, round about this time last year. And um, I think I made the mistake of getting a really hard one. And I have a feeling I should have got a softer one. Because I've tried using this on some foam rubber and also on some glass. And although it leaves a really awesome pattern, I don't know that um, it's the best thing for what I'm using it for. Anyway, I'll quickly dry that off so I'm not mucking around for too long. Okay, I'll just flip that over. That's dry now, I think. Hopefully you can see, if I bring it a bit closer, that it's got a really nice pattern from the brayer. There's a bit of a blob on there, but never mind. This one is just for me that I'm making. I've already made the others and I'll show you afterwards. But I just thought you might want to see what I do and how I do it. So the next thing is I want to make some marks with this little piece of foam that's got raised dots on it. And I'll do that in green. Which I'll just clean my brush. As it's still got bits of blue on it. Shows up better on the white, <laughs> but it's okay. Um, actually, might put a bit more. Just changed my mind all of a sudden. Try that 
that again really quickly. I'll cut all of this drying bit out though. That little blob is bothering me. Cover it with something. All right. Oops. Uh, just a minute. Sorry, I just had to mute my computer because of all that dinging that was going on with Facebook. It was distracting me. Alright, so the next thing is put a few red dots. I'm just putting a few red dots here and there with a toothpick. Just add a bit of an interest in the background. I like this, um, the pattern that the Brayer leaves is um, similar to the, um, what's it called, dendritic printing that I've seen people do recently where you um, put the paint between two plates of glass. Um, Shannon Green showed that, um, which looks great. But this leaves that kind of tree type pattern in the paint. I really like it. It's, um, it looks good and it feels good too. I always like the touch of things as well as the look of the texture. There's my little dots. Um, <clears throat> that again quickly. Next I want a little bit of white. So I turn my plate upside down. Tip out a bit. Oh I'm not having much luck. <laughs> I'm spilling paint everywhere. Use this little C type sponge just to make a little bit of a pattern. It's probably a bit much that I put on that first time. with the others I did I put the white on first which looks better <laughs> but I forgot <laughs> never mind um, the last thing I want is a different red which for some reason my um, oops going to come out or is it dry I think that one's dry um, my other red paint that I have has completely disappeared. I don't know where it is. I was hunting for it last night. So this is a bit of a darker red. It's um, really, really cheap. Um, water, they're supposed to be watercolour paints in a tube from the um, Chinese shop. Um, they're not all that great, but they'll do the trick for what I want. And I just need to find 
something else I was going to use. And I'll grab a bit of water with that. Sorry, I'm off camera. I'm just trying to um, wet this a bit because it comes out, it's quite um, dry. And what I want to do is just put some circles of this. Just test it to make sure I haven't got too much. That seems to work all right. I just want a few circles here and there. <laughs> I go crazy, crazy with the circles. All right, that'll do. Oh, that's all right. That'll dry up, and then I can wet it and use it again. My dogs are going crazy with in the yard today because it's really nice and warm not too hot it's just pleasant and barking at something out the back which is quite normal <laughs> we have people coming up and down the um, laneway at the back of our place and people come up and down there a lot sorry I just needed a drink um, so I'll dry this off Again. All right. I just had to spend a bit of time hunting for this paper that I want to use. Um, it's a handmade paper. It's got lots of little bits in it. It's really nice. And I want to use this. To make a little tree. That's on the side. So I'll just... Um, that side will probably be better. I just want it sort of torn edges, nothing special. So it'll sit like that. Um, so yeah, I'll that on and then cut the edges off later but first of all I want to draw a little markings on it oh, I grabbed the wrong pencil never mind I was going to use a more reddish brown colour. So I just want little markings on the tree just so it looks like it's got scribbly pattern on it. Sorry if my hand's in the way all the time. I had a look at um, the movie maker that I use and um, it looks like I can flip the frames around so I might have a go at doing that and see if it makes any difference. That's probably more than enough. Okay, so that's my tree sorted out. Next I want to do is use one of these little branches. Oops. 
I want to have this little branch coming out of the tree and I have the bird sitting on there so I'll just paint this up um, a bit of brown for the stem the birds outside. You can tell it's spring. It's all choking away. <clears throat> right, a bit of green for the leaves. Just clean my brush. if there's any in the cap there. There's a little bit. Yeah, these birds are cute. I've tried um, doing them in a few different ways. I saw um, Althea, I think that the bird that you gave me on the ATC Oops, sorry. Yeah. Um, looks like it's been done with um, either sprays or um, ink. That looks really nice. I don't have... Um, I've got some sprays I made myself, but they don't work that great. And I don't have the right coloured ink, so I've just been painting them. But um, that's been fun, and I've tried um, a couple of different ways. Oh, what's that fire truck gone racing by? Well, I can hear him beeping his horn at the um, traffic intersection. Obviously, a car was in their way. incredible amount of people that, um, oh, I've got to go, back in a mini. Okay, I'm back. That was Hubby calling. He's gone out for the day with his camera and um, he just called to see how I'm going. Now, I've organised this. As I was saying before I switched off, it's incredible the amount of people that don't pull over and give way to an emergency vehicle that's um, coming up behind them with their sirens going. It's, um, it's not good. People should get out of the way quick to let them pass because they're you know, obviously in a hurry to save someone's life. Anyway, that's my grumble. Alright, so I want that like that. So I'll glue this down first, at least the end of it. Opening the bottle with my teeth probably wasn't good. But that's what you do. <laughs> Right, just make sure that's there. And then I'll put the tree. Yeah, there'll be a bit to cut off, but that's alright. So then I'll do this. zoomed in too close and it's all blurry I worry about it and the problem is the camera 
um, is on a, a swivel so the slightest touch um, you know it'll move out of position that's quite annoying I wish I could lock it in place because when I go to get the um, card out it moves of course oh. now up here I'll do this oh it's already stuck a bit by itself Maybe some of that paint's still a little bit wet. I had a bit of a laugh before because um, I went to pick up the, the phone and we've got um, this portable one that sits in a cradle. And when I went to pick it up to answer it, it was sitting upside down in the cradle. <laughs> The charger part's here. It's not going to be much good like that. <laughs> I think Hubby must have um, done it by accident. I told him yeah, it's a bit of a laugh. And, um, his response was, I thought you were going to say that you went to pick up the phone and you found the knife that's missing. <laughs> so we had a thing in the kitchen this morning about... Where's, where's a particular knife? It's completely disappeared. Along with my paint, I think. <laughs> and, um, yeah. He's funny. He's quick with little responses like that. Always making me laugh, which is good. I love it. Alright, so there's my tree with the branch. And... Next, what was I going to do next? Oh yeah, I was going to, out of a bit of gauze, make a little nest for the bird to sit in. So I'll do that now. It's probably a bit big. to be a little bit tatty so pull the threads a bit where are my tweezers oh. some more glue oh fun doing this. <laughs> I um, I worked on the others all day yesterday. It's crazy how long it takes me to do things. So I'm brushing a bit now trying to get this so it doesn't take too long. So there's the nest. Here's the little bird that I've done. I painted it. I hope you can see that all right. I painted it a um, pale brown and then I went over in a darker brown and white and just put little flecks all over randomly just to represent the feathers and sort of gave it a little bit of a collar around the neck. Um, did the same to the wing then I inked them around the edges with black, gave him a little orange eye to match his little orange beak that I did with orange paint. So that's my little birdie. It's very sweet. So she's going to sit there in the nest. I've got bits of that um, gauze stuck in the on the glue top, the top of the glue, glue bottle. There she is. 
looking very sweet like the bird I have out in the garden sitting on her nest I saw her last night she went out of the nest to get some worms and she was on her way back to the nest and she makes um, a funny cheeping sound the whole time that she's gone it's like she's um, either warning people stay away or she's calling out to her partner because they they um, I think you know they mate for life they have the one partner so maybe she was calling out to him you know keep an eye on the nest while I'm gone so I've chosen a word which is imagine so I'll put that there somewhere um, but I also want to add some little I've got these little um, music notes like the birds singing so I'll stamp that on up there maybe another one down there gee that eight minutes goes by quickly so I was doing the music notes I've just got another one which is a single note don't ask me which ones they are I've got no idea sorry <laughs> I'm ignorant of musical notes Um, I think that'll do. So, I want to ink the edge of this. It's a very small word. Yeah, they need to be small to fit on the ATC. So put that there, I think. I was so excited when I saw that um, this month's swap was um, the theme of birds. So, oh yay, I can get to use my little birds that Althea sent me and have a bit of a play with them. And the last little thing, I've got these little flowers that I've showed before on another video where I made art tiles. I just cut them off a little embroidered motif thing. Put a few on there just for a bit of extra interest, I suppose, just to make it look a little bit sweeter. <laughs> and And the last thing is to ink the edges. Get the glue off my fingers. Another bird, different bird singing. I don't recognise that one. It's a high pitched whistle. There's my ATC. So 
so that's that. And I'll show you the others I've made that I will be sending to my swap people. And they're pretty much the same. The bird going the other way on the nest. And the word there is flutter. Um, another one here. Same sort of thing. Different coloured bird. Um, I put some blue on these birds. Um, the words are chirp and tweet. And this one I did um, going the other way. So she's um, balanced on two of the branches. And that word there is imagine. Like the one I did for myself. So I hope you like my birdie ATCs. I'll put photos in case for some reason you can't see them that well. And that's it. So thanks a lot for watching. And um, I'll be back again soon. Bye for now.